thing, uh, the other thing we were talking about with supplements is uh, collagen. So, you know, we kind of just touched on it briefly, but I think that some people would really love to hear whether or not collagen supplements are actually yeah. good for them or they're not, um, yeah. short-term and long-term benefits and, um, you know, mm-hmm. kind of setbacks from collagen, if you could dive into that. Right. So, so collagen is the most abundant protein in your body. Uh, it's, it's important for your muscle, hold it together, and your skin. And as you get older, you make less collagen and you degrade it and uh, leads to the, the look of, of aging. But it's an essential protein. And it's a really interesting one from a biochemical, uh, a biologist standpoint. It's made as a triple helix, not, not double helix like DNA, but it's triple. And to stabilize it, because it needs to be there for years, the cell does what's called hydroxyl prolylation, and it just puts little oxygen and hydrogens onto collagen, and that stabilizes it. And what this uh, ends up doing is it acts as a little signal to cells when they see this hydroxylation, it can actually do good things. And so what has been discovered is that when you eat collagen, um, it actually does seem to, and some clinical trials seems to improve hair, hair and skin and they promote the growth, growth of muscle cells and differentiation, turning them into muscle cells. Um, how does it do that? Well, I was skeptical. I, from what I know, if you eat collagen, which is a protein, it's unlikely to work because your body will digest it and you'll just have amino acids and amino acids are amino acids. I'm open to the idea that eating digested collagen in the form of gummies or drinks, there's a various, there are various ways to take it in, could actually do what the Chinese have been saying for centuries, which is uh, it promotes the growth of things that are made of collagen as well. Okay, great. So thank you for covering that. We had a lot of questions about that. Um, and a question that just came up, do the amino acids in collagen um, activate <coughs> mTOR? Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, the, the ones that are that are important, they, they go by various names. There's one called hydroxyl prolyglycine, the other one's prolyl hydroxylproline, uh, but basically it's just proline with another amino acid or two next to it with that oxygen and hydrogen. But you don't need to know that. It's just, you know, interesting from a scientist's point of view that there are potentially, the body says, oh, there's a wound, there's collagen being released and digested. I need to grow that wound and heal it. And by eating collagen, you can actually get these dipeptides into your body. They can be found in the bloodstream and that might be how they're promoting skin growth, hair growth, and even wound healing. 